Hello, welcome back to another video. I just filmed the cleaning of all my tanks separately, but to make this into a video is kind of difficult. And I don't think this is pretty interesting to you guys to watch. So I'll just give you a little overview what I did. This was my big maintenance day, so I cleaned all the glass on the tanks, completely cleaned and or changed the water bolts. Also we did the clay. I make a, or I put a photo in here on how the rails on this tank looked. The, not rails, the venting. Because those guys are messy, super super messy. Then we also cleaned here completely. We did the water bowl. The clay in here isn't too old. Then also cleaned anything in here. And this tank has no water bowl because there used to be a little waterfall, water, maybe drip down there so they got always fresh water but I got a problem with that system because that side is completely underwater and that side uh, was with soil but the water went from there to there so uh, I have to redo this and this will be another video you guys will see soon There's the female flop and the males calling, maybe you heard that. So then we cleaned the baby cobalt tank. There's one down there under the leaf is one. They are sitting one here, uh, seven or eight in there, I don't really know right now. I think seven, but also cleaned the glass, picked up some poo, then we cleaned as far as possible the glass of the baby crystal ball. I don't think we can see one right now. Oh, down there. It's hard to see, maybe if we go. Nope. From there, maybe, uh, not really, but you see the white dot in the middle. <laughs> so, then we cleaned the glass on this tank. And I secured this plant onto the back wall, no, not back wall, side, side wall. Because this fell down and completely blocked the light for that begonia. There you can see the female. Bit hard with those reflections. But yeah. But I get some cool things to show you in here. This is a new fern. And there, this. Get in. This thing is getting new sprouts, so that fern will grow, what I think is really, really nice. Yeah, and out of that, there is nothing really changed on those terrariums. This one with the leucomelos will be getting a uh, kind of say an upgrade. We don't do new food flight culture today, or not on camera, but I fed all the springtails up there. I, I think this clip I can use, also the isopods down there, and my special 
uh, springtails. So then we start by feeding the springtails because this is something I have to do today for sure, every three to four days. And also the isopods. I just got not two but three different kind of isopods. There are those. And if we dig down, there are a lot of small white isopods. And in here are just some orange isopods. Nothing really special. Then we got the special springtails. Don't think there you can. There you saw one. There are more. Those are red springtails, and as you can see, there are a lot in here. Really a lot. So I got this pre-mixed isopod and springtail powder and this works really well. I just put it in here. Normally there are herbs in here but this works pretty well and then I just cover a little bit on the top. And that is enough and the springtails will eat that in the coming days. And yeah, basically I'll do that for all of the other ones. Oh, that's that one I fed. There's something left, but we have to do it for all of them. And now you see why I do this in this tub, because when you open, I don't think, oh, there you can see one in the middle. They're escaping and I don't want to lose them, so then we make a time jump. So we finished the springtails and I want to show you the isopods love this stuff. I don't really know what what is in that, but they love it and they thrive like hell. The first of them started feeding two. And a lot of the small ones underground are currently also feeding. And in here, we are coming a lot more of those little guys out of the ground. And they will start feeding too. Yeah. And then we got to this tank, also cleaned the glass, trimmed a lot of plants because this side was all covered from that plant, I don't know the name, Sixicos something, this is growing like crazy. Also down there, so now a lot of light can get down there, doesn't seem to be much but in reality it is. Also there, the water bowl for them is here, because I want to let those, of oh, the reflections, want to let those leaves dry a little bit. We did their clay, they're using it right now. Oh, there's the other one. So then we did the cleaning of the crested gecko tank. I need to put my light out because it's reflecting too much. So, a little bit better. So, we changed the bolts, made some fresh water, and he will get some new crested gecko diet uh, tomorrow. I just fed him yesterday three big crickets. Also did cleaning for the ventilation, which is some um, fruit fly 
proof ventilation. Of course, I don't have it on any of my dart frog tanks, <laughs> uh, but it is a pain in the to clean. But yeah, this is his tank. His tank is, I think, I don't feature it in any video. Is 40 centimeters wide, 40 centimeters deep, and 80 centimeters high. And we got some spiders. Those are a little bit special. You cannot really see them. With those reflections, it's really, 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 really hard. There's one. This one you can see. And then there are two more. Those will get a rehouse. This one get a makeover. And if you want to see that in a video too, just let me know in the comments. As I said, I will redo the Lucamellus tank and the spider enclosures <coughs> uh, before I will start finishing these three. Yeah, these three. And so those are the videos you will see next. For sure, the Lucamellus tank. Then you can see the frogs for the first time i think focus yes maybe we can no and if you want to see a makeover of these tarantula enclosures let me know in the comments so have a nice day and bye